Hey there, guys. I'm sure some of you already recognize this opening. Oh, yeah. Oh, but what's this? It's not a huge panel? Well, that's because I'm playing this on a Netspot 360. Uh -huh. Man, I can't help but just let this opening run. It's the best opening of any game ever. Bulls are going in the background. Here comes Tootie. That's one thing I wish I could play as a Piccolo. Mumbo, where the hell did you come from? And where did that xylophone come from? With Microsoft Game Studios on it? What is... And a violin? Fitting the banjo is playing the banjo. And you got the violin back. Of course. This is perfect. And Kazooie's got her kazoo. <laughs> oh, it's like everything works. Except Mumbo doesn't have the... He's not playing the Mambo. And Tootie's not playing... Well, I guess she's kind of Toot... And the xylophone is back. And now you have everything at once. <sighs> Well, yeah, guys, this is Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, man, this game is fantastic. So, play game. The opening is a little different. I mean, you have a little more menus, and it's a little more HD. But he's not playing a Zune. He's playing an original Game Boy, as it should be. But we're going to start in Game 2. And... Yo-ho! Ooh, I'm sure many of you have seen this opening many, many, many times. What is this? She has emeralds for eyeballs? And a very, very red mouth, and only four teeth? What is this? Pathway? That is the creepiest looking knocker I've ever seen. Oh, who are you? Ding pot, ding pack, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Rookie all day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> Yes, you're right, I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd! Oh, oh Grunty, you and your extremely long penis-shaped chin. Er, but there is this girl. Hey, that didn't rhyme. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me! Well, yeah, it's just Tootie's not a wench. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. It's like a fairy tale. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find. It's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Stop hitting that ding pot. You're just gonna hurt your hands. I mean, it is made of steel, after all. And Grunty turns around dramatically. Well, we'll see about that. That didn't rhyme. I think that's like the only thing she ever says that doesn't rhyme. This is the only place you hear this music. Sorry, I really like this music. Hey, it's bottles! Hi there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Well, yeah, but you don't know what kind of adventure it's gonna be. There's Banjo with his head slightly going into his his headstand. Kazooie sleeps in the backpack. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure, too! <laughs> Poor Kazooie. Always trapped in the backpack. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! That was a little bit of a stretched rhyme, don't you think? Also, why is your broom... Mate? <laughs> is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him! Up there, in the sky! Well, yes, Bottles. I mean, you, I know you have glasses, so you should be able to see that. I don't think so! Who is that? Can't you tell that it's Tootie? Come to me, my little pretty! You'll soon be ugly, what a pity! <laughs> God damn it. Let me go, you ugly old hag! And Kazooie's like, let me out of this backpack! Don't scratch and bite, my little bear! You'll soon need bigger underwear! <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, she's got her! Somebody, help! Banjo, wake up! Now! And Kazooie's like, I don't have legs, I'm stuck in this backpack. 
Yawn. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. <laughs> Reminds me of the Team Rocket theme. Um, something, something, trouble, and make it double. Something like that. I don't quite. I don't quite remember. Hey, it's Bottles. Welcome, Bottles. You just saw 2D get kidnapped, didn't you? Why are you still here? Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here is my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilla swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Man, this test does not go fast enough. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. That rhymed. It was a bit of a stretch. Do I want you to teach me some basic moves? Uh, hell no. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. I can't seem to keep these voices consistent. I'm sorry. Hmm, well, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Wait, so you just gave me moves by making a... noise? Well, that's interesting. But, yeah, for the moment, this is just... This is the opening world. This is Spiral Mountain. One of my favorite areas still in the entire game. Get ourselves a honeycomb here. Well, that was a full... I'm sticky, tasty honey energy. Why, yes, you are. However, we have an empty honeycomb here. And what these do is when you get six of them, they fill up a... <laughs> it's a hexagon made of hexagons. I like it. I'm an extra honey beast. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Yep, so he just explained it. Basically, for every six empty honeycomb pieces you get, you get a full honeycomb piece for yourself to have more life. Which I'm sure, I'm sure everybody, almost everybody who's watching this has played this game before. There's another one, and in here we have a little statue, which is... Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Yep, it's an extra life. So, you can have a maximum, well, a maximum displayed of nine lives in this game. So, I guess you're kind of like a cat. Oh, it's over there. Oops, I knew that. There's another honeycomb piece over here on top of the tree. This one's probably the hardest of all of them to find, just remembering that it's there and which tree it's on. But there's going to be six of these little honeycombs um, hidden in Spiral Mountain. So, we should do our best to get all of them before we... You know what? I will get this one now. Normally, I get this one last, but it would make more sense, and it would be a lot faster if I got it now, now that I think about it. So, yep, Kazooie can swim. She swims very quickly. Unfortunately, her controlling is pretty uh, slow. She can't really turn on the dime when she's swimming really quickly. And as I recall, the honeycomb piece is in the very left one here. Uh, oh, no, it's in the last one you get. So you have to break them all to, to get it. So, let me go through here. Right, uh, okay, so I guess I should go through the controls. Basically, on the 64 controller, there's only one Z button, and that's, like, what makes you crouch and you do a bunch of moves from that. On the 360, however, um, both triggers, the left and right triggers, are, um, Z buttons. So, for the most part, any, any move is going to be the same, you just use the triggers. And... I love that music. I just, this music, this game has fantastic everything. Fantastic music, fantastic gameplay, just, I don't know, it's just nice. But if we make our way up this, this mountain here, this spiral mountain, <laughs> of course that's like the oldest joke in the book, you wonder where this got its name from. We can finally, I think this will bring us to Grunty's Lair. Oh, I think, of course this brings us to Grunty's Lair. What am I doing, like, like trolling you guys? Oh hey, it's Bottles again, coming out of a molehill. So you're ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Man, yeah, my voice for all these characters is changing repeatedly. I am sorry that my, my voices are not consistent. Like, that seems like a kind of important, important thing to do. <laughs> Grunty's like, I can barely fit inside here. She didn't seem that fat beforehand, but whatever. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. And I don't know how to run. Rescue, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Tlungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. So, you mean by push the switch, you mean pull the switch. So right now he's pushing buttons. And then, pretty sure he's, he pulled that, that red lever there. And Tootie's like, oh, I'm so scared, I'm shivering. I don't understand that. Whenever I'm scared, I don't shiver. 
your first Jiggy, and this probably isn't even the e oh, whoops. This probably isn't even the easiest Jiggy in the game, which is the sad part. Like, how much is easier do you think you can get than that? But, so yeah, essentially the entire thing you're going to be doing is collecting Jigsaw pieces here. And I'm sorry this is a kind of boring video. Hmm, that's another song that I just love, that, that Jiggy Gets song. But it's just kind of introduction stuff. I promise it'll get a lot more interesting as time goes on. But let's open up our first level over here, eh? Uh, right up here there's going to be a jigsaw puzzle. I don't know how a fairy tale met a jigsaw puzzle, but uh, bottles, I don't care what you have to say. I'm I'm explaining the same thing you're explaining. Are you not listening to me talking? Yes, we have a jigsaw piece, and I know how to put it in the puzzle. Yeah, you press A, and that's the same on the 64. But you're going to fill out this puzzle, and whenever you fill in a puzzle, you'll see a picture of a level. And that level is the level that you're going to open and be able to enter. So, we can now get into Mumbo's Mountain. However, that is something we're going to do next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Or Banjo-Tooie? What the hell am I saying? Banjo-Kazooie. I don't know, I've played Banjo-Tooie a lot more than i played the first one. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Hopefully, hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully I can bring something a little more, or a little bit exciting to this game, because this game has been LP'd so many times. But, yeah, so, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a good day.